generations of computer, class 5 computer science. Welcome to the computer class children. Today, we will learn about generations of the computer. Generations of computers? Generations of computers? Yes, you heard it right. Just like we have the generation of people in our family like a grandfather, father and children, similarly, the computer also has different generations. Today's modern computers has come in existence after a long journey of inventions and discoveries. The history of computer development is often referred to in reference to the different generations of computers. A generation refers to the state of improvement in the product development process. With each new generation, the computer and its devices are becoming smaller, more advanced and powerful. Computers in the past were with very less features. Each development phase of computer is referred as the generation of computer. Let us learn more about all the generations. First generation computers, 1946 to 1958. In the first generation computers, thermionic valves or vacuum tubes were used. These computers used machine language for instructing the system. These computers were very large in size. Those computers were very expensive but slow and often undependable. In the first generation of computers, paper tapes and punched card were used as secondary storage device. ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer aid work. Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer and UNIVAC Universal Automatic Computer are the examples of the first generation computers. Limitations of first generation computers Thousands of vacuum tubes were used in these computers that generate a lot of heat. They had to be cooled down by air conditioners only. These computers were very large, quite slow with less memory, very expensive and not very reliable. Due to the limitations and drawbacks of the first generation computer, the more advanced computers developed, which were the second generation computers. Second generation computers, 1959 to 1964. The invention of transistors marked the start of the second generation. Transistors were highly superior to the vacuum tube that made the computer more reliable. During this period, magnetic cars were also invented for storage. Second generation computers stored their instructions in their memory. The capacity of memory was around 128 kilobytes. These computers used symbolic language, i.e. assembly language instead of machine language. IBM 1401 IBM 7094 CDC 3600 Mark III and Univac 1180 are examples of second generation computers. Limitations of second generation computers Second generation computers also produced a lot of heat and they too had to be cooled down by air conditioners. Speed and memory was still low. Third generation computers, 1965 to 1970. The integrated circuits replaced the transistors which marked the start of the third generation. The inventors of IC were Jack St. Clair Cabley and Robert Noyce. The third generation computers proved to be highly reliable, a bit less expensive and faster. During this generation, mainframe computers were developed. For example, IBM 360 series, ICL 1900 series. The capacity of memory was around 1 megabyte. The language used in the third generation computers was high level language. Fortran and COBOL. In the third generation computers, 
users interacted with keyboards and monitors. This period witnessed the areas of application that concentrated mainly on education, business, science and engineering. Know the fact. One tiny integrated circuit is equivalent to thousands of transistors. Fourth generation computers, 1971 to today's computer. The beginning of this generation of computers was marked by the advent of microprocessor chip. The Intel 4004, the first microprocessor of the world, was invented by Dr. Ted Hoff, engineer with the Intel Corporation. The examples of the fourth generation computers are Intel 4004, Apple, IBM 370, etc. The powerful operating system was developed with the processing speed, faster access and increased memory capacity. The fourth generation computers became more powerful and they could be linked together to form network. The size of the computer in this era has become very small as compared to those of the previous generations. The programming languages used were C, C++, Java. In 1981, IBM introduced its first personal computer, PC, for the home user. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. Fifth generation computers, present and beyond. Fifth generation computers used artificial intelligence which means decisions will be taken by the computer. In these computers, large numbers of processors are used for more efficient performance. Voice recognition is a special feature in these computers. Robot is the example of the fifth generation of computers. I now know. Valves and vacuum tubes were used in the first generation of computers. The first generation of computers used machine language for instructing the system. Transistors were invented during the second generation of computers. Integrated circuits were used in the third generation of computers. The fourth generation of computers witnessed the advent of the microprocessor chips. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.